Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Kaz, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to animate lights to be able to get product animation shots like this one. Before we do jump into the video, I wanna invite you guys to follow me on my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, Cosmical Art, Cosmical Art. Guys, I do post content over there, um, client work and things like that. So if you guys wanna uh, be able to see that type of work and, and see what I do outside of YouTube, then you might wanna go ahead and follow me over there. But anyways, that being said, let's jump right into the video. I got here is um, a blender file with a product which would be this ring right here um, you could either um, use a logo any type of product you might have um, but the important thing here is that I'm gonna be able to um, show you how to add lights and how to animate them so that throughout your whole shot it'll look um, super cool everything looks like it's moving it doesn't look like a boring shot well anyway let's get to it um, so the first thing I like to do is I like to add a first area light. GZ, bring it up like so, somewhere around here. Let's see, somewhere around there. Let's go really quick into render view so we see what we're doing. Let's go to cycles. Make sure you have GPU selected. Of course, that's that's a very normal thing to do. Um, and then, uh, of course, I do have to um, start this over here on the left side. So you guys can see what I'm clicking and whatnot. So... Um, I would move this a bit back um, Once you have this guys keep in mind the scale of the light Like plays a role on how the light shows on your product Especially when your product is supposed to have kind of a chrome look to it uh, So just keep that in mind. I, I, I usually like to go with the smaller size. It has more detail um, And you can add more and you'll get you have more control over it if that makes any sense so um, after you have this one, what I like to do is really quick. If you go to the um, object data property, I like to change the shape from square to a um, ellipse. And I, for some reason, for me, it just looks better. It, it looks smoother. Um, so that that's pretty much always my option. Then after you do this, another thing you want to do is make sure that you have you add a track to, and the object is the product. Um, and then once you have that pretty much all you got to do is duplicate this a couple times um, Another one over here I Like to do somewhere on the bottom like that Just keep them close and then last one I like to add would be an area light But this one we're gonna keep it um, as a rectangle or square um, And I like to flip it so that it's aiming like that do that bring it to the front Y and scale it on the X axis so it's a rectangle but super thin this usually works for me as a quick uh, glare um, and or light uh, light sweep and it just looks super cool so once I have all these lights set up however I want them you could play with the power you could play with let's make our scene um, black so we can see better but you could play with the power and all that stuff. But pretty much what I like to do is I like to add an empty. Uh, so let's bring up an empty really quick. Uh, plain axis, GZ, bring it up like so. Keep it somewhere around there in the middle. And this is gonna work as the um, control for the light, for all, for all the lights. So what you would do is you would select all your lights and then your, oh, sorry. Select all your lights and then your empty and you want to go ahead and control p and it's going to set parent to object so right now whatever you do to this empty those lights will move so if we rotate it on the z-axis the lights will move with it um which is super cool so what i like to do is if your um animation is going to be 250 frames um i would add a uh, keyframe on the z rotation at zero and then you'll go to the last frame and you do 360 and you add another keyframe to that. So what that would do is the lights will literally go around your um, uh, product like so. Let me show you. So if you zoom in so I could so you guys can see the details better. 
um, literally the light will move. And for some reason, this just looks super cool when you have a nice shot, when you're trying to shot a product in 3D space. It just gives you the illusion that there's movement and just that alone makes the shot look a whole lot better. So this is a, a trick that I like to use on most of my animations. Um, so definitely a must do when you're actually shooting a product. Um, and then after this, you can actually go ahead and if you want, you can move the product um as well so the product could maybe do um kind of a quick rotation so from there let's say we're gonna add a keyframe on the z and then move it a bit somewhere around there so you have a bit of movement on the product as well something like that and then if we go ahead and add the uh camera so we're gonna add a quick camera really quick zero to go into camera view and view camera to view and we're gonna go ahead and position this somewhere the first shot has to start somewhere like around here something like this something like this so when you hit play and it's just moving the lights are moving and it's just a super cool effect to have in your shots. Especially if you have different shots, dif different camera setups, which if you're trying to watch a video on how to set up different cameras, you have different shots all at once. So while you render, you get all those different shots in one render. Uh, click on this video right here, up here, and you'll learn how to do that. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is how pretty much I just set up my scenes um, for the lighting. Um, and it's just a pretty cool dynamic to have on your um, renders But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like down below Comment what you want to see next subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you have any questions Hey, ask away. Don't be don't be shy. Don't be scared. Um, I'm here to help. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one